Hello, and welcome to The Oily Crafter. I'm Judy Medore. My husband's behind the camera named Greg, and he'll be helping me today. You'll probably hear him chime in every once in a while. But today we're doing an unboxing of a new laser that we just got. We decided to buy it because our Glowforge cannot do rotary stuff. In other words, we can't do round objects. At least not have it turn and have the, the uh, logo be wider. So we've got some different kind of glasses. We went by Dollar Tree and just picked up some different things that we're going to try after we unbox the X-Tool and get it put together. And we're going to see, we got a bunch of different sizes and shapes and see how well it works for us. We're going to have a lot of learning curve on this because we're going to have to use a program called Lightburn. And uh, we're getting ready to unbox this and we got it sitting here on the table and we'll get to it in just a minute. Okay, so first thing I want to let you know is that all the boxes that I'm getting ready to open came in one big box. So they don't ship it separate if you order it all together at the same time. They do put it in a bigger box so it'll all come at once. Okay, so for our first box that we're going to open is the X-Tool itself. This is a 20 watt, uh, 20 watt laser that we got. It's a diode laser and uh, there's going to be some assembly required. So first we'll unbox it and show you what's in the box. The second we ordered with it, we decided we we're going to need the air assist. So we went ahead and, and purchased that from X-Tool as well. I understand you can buy third party ones, but we decided to get ours from X-Tool. Now, the whole reason we got the X-Tool, the rotary. This is the RA2. This is the most recent one they got. It's got four in one and it's got all kinds of stuff and we'll show you that as we unbox it. We, with it came the extra risers. So when you wanna do the thicker products, you raise the bed of the, uh, or the actual frame of the X-Tool so this can fit underneath it. So uh, we'll get to opening the boxes now. Okay, so I have already off camera got the box loose to make it easier as we open it up. So first thing we got here, well, let's see, mm, maybe some paperwork. I'm not really sure. Yep, looks like a bunch of paperwork in this one. Tells us a little bit about operations stuff. manual and instructions, yeah. stuff like that. Yep. So that's in the first little deal as we pull out. I'm gonna put that over to the side out of the way. Okay, this just says x -tool. I wonder if it's, I don't know if they give you any material with this, whether that's separate. You have to buy that separate. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it is a small packet of material. Looky there, ooh, shiny metal piece. And some wood and business cards. I'm not sure what all's in there, cork. That's interesting. Didn't know they were going to send all that. So I've got a small sample packet. All right, so let's lift this first piece of foam. It's very well packed. My hair is already invading it. Or is that husky hair? No, it's long enough to be mine. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start pulling out the pieces. This is going to require assembly. So we'll start here at the top and see what we got here. Okay, this is one of the sides. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna start pulling out foam like this until I know for sure what I'm supposed to pull out and what I'm not supposed to pull out. Okay, um, this here's the, what do they call it? The gantry head? Okay, I may have to get up here and there we go. Yep, that's the gantry head, some belts or yep. the wiring. Okay, this is the front rail. I can tell because there's the button that you turn on and it's got the circuit board already in there. I'll have to look and see what that little switch does. That's your machine. that's your antenna for Wi-Fi most I'll likely. You're right. Okay. That's what it looks like. My technical husband there. All right, I'm glad these belts are all looking pretty good here. So this is yeah, that's, uh, looks like side the, rail. Looks like the motor. And 
Okay. And last but not least. The last side rail. Okay, now this one is a little loose. That's probably because we have to adjust it after we get all the pieces together is what yep. I'm assuming. I, uh, I've briefly watched a few other videos where people are putting stuff together. I didn't pay a lot of attention to it because I didn't have it here to look at. I'm one of those kind of people. Okay, and this looks like it might be the actual diode the actual laser head. Actual laser head, yep. Okay. Notice it's in a sealed, uh, moisture-free pack. Yeah, pack. and I'm going to leave it in that until we're ready to put it together. So. Yep, got it. All right, and it's a 20-watt laser head. And then, I'm not sure what's in this box. Maybe it's parts. That'd be parts to uh, oh, do this. Oh, laser glasses? Similar. I didn't know I was getting those with it either. It wasn't on the list. And the tools. Looky there. Tools Cable for assembly. Yeah, Oops. zip ties. Let's see what's inside the tool case. That's Lots your of screws and you got your lens right here. Yeah. All right. Or that's the extra lens. I think some people say they got an extra lens, so got it. That might be the extra. One. We'll see when we get that. Yep. Out. And a bunch of other little things in here. Allen. Allen wrenches. Bench of Allen wrenches. Oh, too. that's a handle to the to a screwdriver. It's got a little screwdriver in there. Got it. Cool. I'm not sure. This looks like a. It's a micro SD card. Okay. Remember, you can, that's one of the good things about this particular unit X tool is you can do either via um, plug it in USB cable to your computer. You can use it over Wi Fi. You can use it uh, uh, without any internet at all. You put your, put your design on the micro SD card and then you plug it into the unit. So, okay. And this is the air assist nozzle that you have to install. Looks like. Alrighty. So it looks like they gave you everything you need to, to get it put together. Hopefully I can get everything back down in there the way they had it. Alright. Yeah. It's not wanting to snap shut. Just my look. <laughs> Just set it to the side and go on, please. Alrighty. Here we go. Alrighty, and then like I said, it came with some glasses, case and, management. And it is important to wear the, uh, those, uh, and they, they're they not just safety glasses, right? They, they're special for lasers. Special for lasers to yeah. protect your eyes against the lasers there. So. Right. so I'm glad to see that they included that because I didn't know they were going to include that. Alrighty, then underneath this piece of foam, we have more wiring that... Uh, that's a USB cable okay, I'm not to sure. plug it in the computer. And then you got some kind of a, a lubricant, maybe lubricant for, the for the, yeah. All right. And then here's the power, power supply. supply. Here, get this box out of the way. Yeah. All right. And then let's see if there's anything else in here. Whether that's just extra foam. There's stuff underneath that one back there. All right. Uh -huh. More wires. Probably the other side of the. That's of the, the yeah, power cord. And that looks like that's it here. Yep. Now, some people said to look underneath. No, I don't see anything there. Okay. What about that end? I want to make sure there's nothing on the ends. No, there's nothing on that end. Okay. Because uh, somebody said something about their, their extra lens was in the foam somewhere. So I'm like, mm. let's check. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, I so think you got it all box. out of that one. Yep. There's the first box. Alrighty. So on to the second box. We're going to open the air assist next. We went ahead and cut the tape because of the way I had it done. I was having difficulties with it. Greg had to help me. Alrighty. So now, and it acts like it's still taped or something. No, it's, it's yeah, oh, there you go. go. Got it. <clears throat> So much fun. Okay. I need to turn it like this. Okay. By the way, I wanted to mention today's her birthday, so this is kind of her birthday present. Yeah, and growing the business, doing things that we haven't yep. been able to do before. Exactly. Okay, so this is the pump, from what I understand. Like I said, I've watched some videos, but I don't know everything. We're going to learn together. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Sounds like air tube. Yeah. And... Probably st standard quarter inch uh, tubing there. And that looks like all that's in that box. Very well packed. Again. Yeah. So we'll pull this foam out and see what these little things are here. Oh, that's the nozzle. 
Got it. For the air assist. And, aha, we have to switch out the uh, laser head cover because it's got a hole right there. So the one that's on it doesn't have a hole in it. That's it. for the people who don't buy yeah. the air assist. All right, okay. Now the pump itself. Just wanting to bring everything out here. Let's just do that so I don't drop anything. Okay, box 50. And apparently- That's the power cord. Go. Yeah, it's the power cord that was getting us stuck. All right. That's yeah, everything just there. Pull, and pull that back and hold it up a little bit there so, so I can see it better. This is the pump. Yep. Obviously, you're tubing for air Comes output there. there. Yep. And, and then you got power. <laughs> That's the power cord. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. And it's got and it's rubberized, little... rubberized feet on it. To... Yeah, I was going to say, it's like it's a vibration control or something. Yeah. Because it yeah. make it jiggle. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that way it doesn't vibrate off, off a table, table or yeah, something like that. Be interesting. No, that's a good All thing. All right, so that's everything with the air assist. Okay, so now on to the third box. The uh, rotary tool that comes with the risers. Uh, at least this set we got comes with the risers. So let's have a look here. Oh, well, I forgot. They were all going to be red, just like... The uh, unit itself, I got the red nice. and gold one. And they all stack on top of each other, so that's why I got eight of them. There's four in this one, four in this one. So two sets. Two sets, and that way you can make it double tall. I think they're uh, 90, together they're 90 millimeters. I think they said they're 45 millimeters piece on yeah. the height. Well, and that's important because based on the diameter of your, your tumbler or your insulated mug or whatever, You've got to be able to raise the tool up off of the off of the surface, right, to be able to right. get your material underneath there and, yeah. and then edge it. Yep. And some people have actually 3D printed extra ones, or they bought extra ones to make it even a little taller, depending on the mug you're using. If it has a handle, you may still need to make it taller. I'm like, wow. But hey, you got a way to do it. All right, now for the actual rotary tool. Comes in with a bunch of good. I didn't flip through the other ones, but the, everybody's always made comments about how good the instructions are. Nice. All righty. Let's get this foam out. Okay, I don't see anything in the foam. All right, so I'm gonna show you inside the box before I start taking things out. Okay. Because this is what they call a four in one, because there's a chuck, and a bill to do rings, and then you got your normal just rotary tool thing. So I'm gonna pull that out first. There's the, this is the, and they say when you put it in the unit, always make sure you can read the words, otherwise your stuff's gonna end up backwards when it actually engraves, which was a good point, I thought. All right, so there it is with the two rollers. Three different settings here for widths. So you can do something real tiny, right? Shot glasses maybe. Go on the first one here, second one, a little bit bigger glasses, and then your real big glasses on the third one. Got it. Then we got uh, your deal where it hooks to the motherboard and a couple little screws. All right. Then this is your weight assist. I believe it raises. Yeah, it raises. So if you have something that's too long, put it here on the end and you can help level it out. Nice. These are the screws. These are the uh, deals that they put in for the rings or for smaller objects. They, uh, they I can't remember what they call them. And then voila, something that nobody ever in the other videos showed me came with the rotary tool, a level. I wonder why they always use the same level in all the videos. <laughs> it's because it came with the unit, but they never showed it during the unboxing. I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, that piece of foam was done. Now let's see what's in the box. It says accessories. <clears throat> and it's one of those fun ones again. Let's see if I can get it open there. There we go. They were very, very well boxed. Lots of good form foam. Good sturdy boxes. All right, so there's a piece of foam. Okay. Oh, these are like the different size chucks for the chuck size. 
they got that's kind of two different sizes this is that a is that for when you do the fingers on the attachment to hold a hold something round or yeah, whatever they uh when you want to hold something that uh, from the outside okay okay and then that's a measuring tape so you can figure out the diameter because okay. that's important in your software so it knows how far to turn let's see here uh, i'm not sure what that is some kind of this is a check tool i know that yeah hmm. okay Interesting. Some kind of something to put together. Yeah. Looks like a spacer. That's what it reminds me of. Some kind of a spacer. Oh, I bet you I know where it goes. Let me get down to the unit here. I can get this foam out of here. Okay. This is the other thing. This is a suction cup. This is for when you're wanting to do round things. That. Uh, Hold it out here over the white because I can't. Okay. I can't see it with a dark background. Sorry. There you go. That'll work. It's got this suction cup here for holding. I've seen them do um, Christmas bulbs. Got it. Where they were using these to hold one side of the Christmas bulb on this side, and they had mm -hmm. this on the other side to hold it steady. You have got to it. remove these to get it there. Got it. All right. And then this is a this is the actual chucks here, the check motor. And it's got a belt and that um this thing here i think goes on this somewhere and that belt hooks to this got that it that's what it is okay okay so let's see if there's anything else in there because i think that's it yep that's it so there you go unboxing of our x tool d1 pro 20 watt laser hi i'm greg uh, with the Oily Crafter, and we are in the process of assembling the X-Tool uh, frame today. So, and the entire X-Tool product, but right now we're focused on the frame. So we got the four rails out, and I will say that here's your uh, installation guide to assemble the product, which you will need to do. The, the instructions are quite thorough, but in the case you need another reference, it does mention in here on page four, you can go to support.xtool.com. And they've got a video online uh, to help uh, walk you through that. So basically, you're just getting the uh, the the rails um, assembled, and then you've got these uh, short screws that you use to uh, assemble those, uh, put the frame together. And then there's a uh, pulley assembly here um, for belt tensioning, and you use these blue screws here to help. Uh, they will uh, provide the adjustment and the tensioning on the belt there, but. Uh, uh, we're so far so good on the assembly. Okay, so next part of the assembly here, uh, we've done, uh, this is the uh, stepper motor that moves the, uh, moves the gantry here, I believe. So, but there's a uh, wiring harness here that goes from, from here to the control board. So, Make sure you put that in there correctly, and then, of course, you secure it with some zip ties there. Okay, next step here is installation of the gantry itself. So this is the, this is the gantry here, and you've got uh, two screws on either end to help hold this in place to the brackets that are on the side rails. And then this is, again, this is another belt temperature, and uh, we'll get the uh, wiring hexed, hooked up for movement of the gantry here. Um, we'll get that hooked up here in just a minute. Okay, next step was, we'll, we'll go over this. So I, I had not plugged in the cable that goes from this, this control board here into, into the back of this motor. And then there's, from this motor here, there's a cable assembly here. It has to plug into the main control board here. You got a red, yellow, and white container. Each of those has keys on the back of them, and those keys, by the way, are supposed to go up. There's not a lot of clearance for you to get your finger in there, so um, it could be a little bit frustrating, but just uh, keep after it. I had to use a magnifying light to uh, be able to see down inside of there and then finagle my finger in there to get it started and get those connectors put in place. So on to the next step.
Okay, so we put the air assist nozzle in the side of here. One thing I will tell you is on the side of this uh, laser head here, there's a little uh, clear decal on there. You'll need to remove that before you try and put that in. Otherwise, you'll be thinking, why didn't this screw it in? All right, next thing on this, this is, think of this thumb screw as kind of a ratcheting head. So what's interesting is, is so you can't turn it anymore. You have to pull this out and rotate it to be able to uh, like tighten it down. So think of it as like a ratchet, if you will. And you have to, you have to keep doing this um, to ratchet around to tighten this down. Basically, you want it where it's pretty level with the top of this, which it shows in the instructions and it's also in the video. And then last but not least is the cable that comes off the gantry is going to come behind this little shield right here and then it snaps into this connector here. Okay, we've also, we've got this uh, main wiring harness here that comes from the gantry, comes back up here to the main control board. Uh, we just used a few zip ties in the instructions and on the video it only shows three but oddly enough there's one more hole back up here and we thought well right there in that corner uh, provides some strain relief so we decided to put a, a fourth one in there you do not want that this cable assembly to be up here by this belt because if you do that's going to interfere with the gantry uh, you know the motion of moving the gantry back and forth so just do yourself a favor make sure it's down there and then zip tie it and cut off the extra. So this is the, uh, for some reason in the instructions, they call it a TF card. I call it a micro SD card. That card right there needs to be placed into this slot right here and you'll hear a click when you push it in. And you need to have that installed before you go on to the next step. Okay. Greg has finished the assembly. We've got the head on here, the laser head, and we are uh, getting ready. The next thing is to do some test cuts. They, one of the pieces of uh, that came with the unit it has two blue sides. You wanna take this blue film off so it looks silver like this because it's gonna protect your surface under whatever you're cutting under the laser head. And uh, so next we'll uh, do a project and see how it goes. Thank you for uh, watching our video. I hope you like the content. Again, we are the Oily Crafter, Greg and Judy. We will uh, hope you'll like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.